Hello, my name is Donna Miller, and this is Vote Voiced Podcast. Vote Voiced is a 501c3 nonprofit dedicated to getting out the vote. Send your voice opinion message after listening to our podcast, and please consider making a tax deductible donation. It would be an honor to have you as a supporter. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Visit us on Facebook and at our website, votevoice.com. Hello, and thank you for joining me. Today, I want to pass on some current information. The ACLU has a new website on voting rights. This site includes a brand new Know Your Voting Rights PDF that you can download. Just go to www.aclumich.org slash en slash K-N-O-W hyphen Y-O-U-R hyphen rights R-I-G-H-T slash voting. Also, if you live in Dearborn, Dearborn Heights or Inkster, Michigan, the League of Women Voters are delivering voter rights information to their library soon. Now you can assume that no matter where you live in this country, you'll be able to find the ACLU page and also you'll be able to find in your libraries uh, information delivered to you um, about voter rights by the uh, League of Women Voters no matter where you are. The League of Women Voters is over 100 years old and they have been working for 100 years uh, or more to get out the information for voting. Uh, Now, they may be in the libraries now, so just check your local libraries and ask if the voting right information from the League of Women Voters is available. And remember, the ACLU also has on their voting rights uh, information that you can download. The more the merrier and if you know about these sites you can also pass on this information to others. Now on to the issue of voter suppression. Thursday February the 13th 2020 Native American voters from the Spirit Lake Nation the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe, as well as other voters in North Dakota, agreed to a settlement protecting their voting rights. The agreement was signed by the North Dakota Secretary of State under the North Dakota Voter ID Law. Native uh, Americans under the North Dakota ID Law were required to provide ID with a residential address. Now, the only problem with the uh, North Dakota rigid ID law was people living on the reservations did not have street addresses. That's not how the reservation is set up. Personally, you would think that someone running the state of North Dakota would understand that. The law did not accept tribal IDs. Now, that's just my humble opinion. Um, The North Dakota, the North Dakota lawmakers would know and clearly understand the fact that um, Native American voters would not have addresses and they would not have created a law that disenfranchise them from voting. You would think that our lawmakers would 
have all of our um, voting lives, you know, in their minds when they're writing these laws. But it seems like uh, some people are writing laws to disenfranchise us. I don't think we can ignore that anymore. So it's up to us to fight in our states, the state where you live, to fight voter suppression and make sure that everyone can vote. Now, the settlement between the Native Americans and other voters uh, with the state of North Dakota will allow Native Americans to use their tribal ID and allow them to vote without a street address. Now, the North Dakota uh, valid form of ID law, and that is what uh, I'm calling it, restricted over 72,000 voters because it did not meet, because they did not meet the state standards for an acceptable ID. So it was a win for all of us in the fight against voter depression that this rigid law uh, that disenfranchised over 72,000 voters was brought to a conclusion that allowed voters in North Dakota to vote. Also, I want to update you about the National Popular Vote Interstate Compact. Now, the Virginia House passed the bill, its House Bill 177, Tuesday, 51 to 46, to award electoral votes to who ever wins the popular vote. Now, this means the state of Virginia agrees to award its electoral votes to the presidential candidate who has the most popular votes. Now, the popular vote is counted in all 50 states and the District of Columbia. Now, the compact will go into effect after states uh, possessing a majority of electrical, uh, I'm sorry, electoral votes have joined the compact. Now, as of now, 15 states and Washington, D.C. have joined the compact. All that is left to, to gather is 74 more electoral votes. So the compact needs more states to join up before the compact could take effect. So each state has so many electoral votes. And now that they have 15 states in Washington, D.C., they only need enough states to gather up the 74 additional electoral votes that they need before the compact could go into effect. Now, lastly, I want to talk about the NAACP's street by street campaign. Now, the Western Wayne branch of the NAACP and our president is Gina Stewart. Our vice president is Reverend Velma Overman. And our second vice president is the Reverend John Heron Jr. The Western Wayne branch of the NAACP here in Michigan is having its street by street campaign. Now, members of their local NAACP are given the names and numbers of voters who have not voted lately. The members contact the voters that live within their zip code and address, encouraging them to vote. Now, the great news is that not many voters are unactive. The street by street campaign is just one step to get out the vote. You can contact your neighbors when you run into them, wave at them. It just is a first step for you to just remind your neighbors to vote. Now, before I go, I want to tell you about a new product that has come to my attention 
called Flawless Desires. It's a Cherish Premium Sanitary Napkin. Now, uh, the product is organic, bleach-free, it's inexpensive, it's chemical-free, it has great absorbency, it's soft and comfortable, and the other products in the line are panty liners, uh, nights, overnights, and day pads. Now, the benefits of this premium napkin is that it reduces cramps, it reduces the cycle of your period, it reduces older migraines, it reduces heavy flows, it protects your skin, it keeps you dry, it's made of cotton. If you would like to know more about the organic Cherish Sanitary Napkins, all you have to do to order is go to flawlessdesires.mywakeya.com. That's F L A W L E S S D E S I R E S dot M Y W A K A Y A dot com. You can also call to place an order at area code 313-706-8902. It's an inexpensive, chemical-free, alcohol-free pad. Ladies, try it for yourself. Gentlemen, buy it for your wife or your daughter. Everything is going organic. This is something that everyone should try. Also, I want to go back to the Western Wayne branch of the NAACP and talk about the Champion of Faith 2020. Now, this is in Michigan, Garden City, Michigan. It's the Power of the Church Membership Drive. Now, it begins March 1st, ends September 30th, this year, 2020. Contact Pastor Jean Overman, and her email is v e l m a j e a n b e n a r d at yahoo.com. Now, it's um, something, it's a membership drive. Go ahead and contact Pastor Jean Overman. And she will help you and explain to you everything that you need to do to get started in your church. Lastly, I want to tell you about Rich Recovery in Christ Healing. It's a senior support service. It's located in Michigan. It's for seniors 65 and over. You can contact Elizabeth Taylor at 734-799-2982, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. She believes that seniors have a, has a voice that should be heard. Now, the RICH program is Recovery in Christ Healing Family Program. In addition to counseling and psychotherapy, the RICH program offers the We Care program, okay? And a call is made on Friday checking to make sure the client is okay and has no concerns for the social worker until their next session. Now, if they have a concern under the We Care program, the caller will write it down for the social worker to review prior to their next session. So that is part of the RICH program. They also, the uh, Recovery in Christ Healing Family Program, has Family Power, I'm sorry, Flower Power Program. Forgive me. This is part of the RICH program. The organization believes a person should receive flowers while they're living. Isn't that wonderful? Just like the lyrics to the song, a person should be able to see 
and smell them while they're here, not after they're gone. Once a month, flowers are delivered to a person who is in need of some love and smile, and flowers are always wonderful. There's other resources. The rich organization will become a link connecting an individual with community resources that would enhance their quality of life. And the rich program is an advocate. The rich program, uh, the rich organization will advocate for an individual who is in need of assistance in the community. Now, once again, contact the Rich Recovery in Christ Healing Program. Contact Elizabeth Taylor. She's a LMSW at 734-799-2982, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And she is located in Michigan. Give her a call. Now, I just thank you guys so much for listening. My name is Donna Miller, and you have been listening to the Vote Voice Podcast. I thank you once again for your time, and everyone, you have a wonderful day. God bless you.